global you know, perspective of the energy sector. Um, so, so I would like to call upon my colleague, Alice Yana Shatas, who was make the introductions. Good morning. My name is Alessiano Giovanesi. I'm also an uh, RGE student here learning the Master's degree in Oil and Gas and Renewable Energy Law. And first of all, I would just want to give a, a huge thanks to um, Dr. Leo Pollard for this opportunity so we can bring some information from Brazil. And also to RGU for giving the opportunity to exchange information. So just a quick introduction. I'm going to be reading because this is a, a people have a huge background in oil and gas industry that would be very very valuable for all of us. Uh, we're going to start with Barbara Bittencourt. Uh, Barbara is a partner in Demas Energy and Natural Resources Practice. She holds a master's degree in oil and gas from the University um, of Aberdeen and a bachelor a bachelor degree in law uh, from the University of Newton Campus Minas Gerais in Brazil. Uh, she concentrates her practice uh, in contractual matters involving different oil and gas transactions and in consulting on regulatory aspects uh, related to the industry, including uh, various matters involving um, EMP processing, refinery, uh, trading, and biofuels. Uh, Barbara also has assisted clients in a number of transactions, um, transactional areas and has been active in purchase and sale of oil and gas assets, imports of parts and pieces, storage, distribution of fuels, in addition to having assisted companies in obtaining licenses and authorizations with local regulatory bodies, as well as instructing participation on bidding rounds. Barbara Bittencourt has already been recognized by some of the most prominent local and international legal directories, such as chambers and partners, IFLR uh, Pausen and the Analysis Advocacia Mulher in Brazil. We are also going to have the participation of Pedro Leo and will be represented by uh, José Gustavo de Souza Costa Jr. He is the Treasury Investors Relationship Manager at Pedro Leo. Uh, Pedro Leo is a Brazilian company focusing on oil and gas production and investment in recovery of assets in production, specializing and efficient reservoir management and mature fields development. The company is also dedicated to the production, exploration, commercialization, and transport of oil and natural gas. Currently, uh, PetroRio is the largest private oil company in Brazil with a net, uh, net income of $141 million in the second quarter of 2022. We also have uh, Professor Paul de Lune. Uh, Professor Paul uh, has worked over 30 years in the oil and gas industry and has worked in a number of companies including Shell, Marathon Oil, Amoco, BP, Venture Production, and Centric Energy. His broad experience, business, and deep commercial background includes senior leadership roles in strategic commercial, uh, business development, planning, and supply chain. Before uh, joining um, RGU in 2014, uh, Professor Paul was a strategy and commercial director for Centric Energies Upstream Business. He is currently the director of uh, the RGU Energy Transition Institute, chairman of the Oil and Gas Innovation Center, chairman of Plan C Solutions Limited, and board member of the Oil and Gas Technology Center, and a member of OME Oil and Gas Board. He is also a regular commentator in developments uh, in the oil and gas industry here in Aberdeen and in the UK. Uh, we also have, finally, um, Professor David Christie. And Professor David Christie is an academic lawyer with a focus in construction law and dispute resolution. And he also has the leadership role in the law uh, school, which includes cross development, external engagement, and commercialization. Before becoming an uh, academic, Professor David was a construction and engineering disputes lawyer in Glasgow, Edinburgh, with international experience. So we don't have Barbara now to start. Um, just before Barbara has to start yeah. his presentation, we're just going to have Dr. Leo Muller um, having a quick short presentation for us. Thank you, Leo, before you. I know 
so um, I would also like to call my colleague, Dr. Uh, Mitchell, to look at the front. So the idea here is that we will introduce ourselves to you. Uh, I'm sure that most of you know us now, I just according to the program. Introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hello everybody. Uh, good morning. Uh, it's a pleasure to, to be here. My name is uh, Uche Iloka, um, and I, I take the international business law. I have loads of my students here, and um, we sort of we shared at our class with this uh, venue. And uh, as some of you might be wondering why uh, this is important, because some of you might not have any interest in energy whatsoever. But if you're interested in international business, then it's important that you're here um, to expose your mind, you know, you know, open your mind to, to a wider range of information. And if you're looking at international business, one of the world, you know, largest economies, Brazil, and uh, having that sort of exposure to the way business is done globally, whether it's in a particular sector, like in energy, or in a wider sector, like, like um, maybe agriculture, whichever, uh, it's relevant to your long-term uh, a goal. So I would just encourage all the students uh, who are supposed to be in the international business law class, uh, uh, be here with an open mind, learn, absorb as much as you can, and I'm sure it will be beneficial in the end. All right. Um, and then when we meet next week, we'll have a chat um, about what we have learned uh, today and see how that can be uh, imply, uh, applied in the various aspects of our learning journey. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Excellent, thank you, sir. And I also want to add that he's, a, he's an excellent um, actor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Oh, we want right. to see that. It's <laughs> crazy. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Leon Bonner, and I'm the course leader for All Just Renewable Energy Law. And we've also just introduced a new international environment law. So this talk sits very you know, in the middle of what we are doing in our course. Uh, we are um, in the law school, so please approach us anytime if you want to talk about anything related to the course. I'd also like to mention that I have two more colleagues here.